Well, hello and good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the Speed Palace, Port Royal Speedway, right here in Juniata County, Pennsylvania. The Bob Hilbert Sports for a Short Track Super Series, fueled by Sunoco, returns to the Port Royal Speedway. The Speed Showcase, highlighted by a springtime $50,000 to win. Driver meeting all. Hello, friends. We have arrived to Port Royal Speedway, Port Royal favorite track of mine, Port Royal Speedway here in Pennsylvania. It is <coughs> Speed Showcase weekend. Mother Nature was in our favor, thank God. Uh, so we've got Mike, Billy Racing, Modified Short Track Super Series, $50,000 to win. $50,000 to win. So tonight is qualifying. Uh, the guys practiced this morning. The track was pretty heavy because we got some quite a bit of rain last night so the track crew have been, crew have been working hard at it getting the track back uh, practice like I said it was heavy so they didn't really get out as much as they had hoped to but both the time at least in like the top 15 there's 60 cars 60 modifieds so we're qualifying tonight we go straight out into time trials so both Mike and Billy drew I drew 10 for Mike little guy drew 13 for Billy of course the one-time draw doesn't actually matter we draw decent it's fine it's great we're gonna time well so that'll put us in a group go out time um, and then we do our heat races I'm pretty sure heat races tonight pay $500 15 laps I will double check myself I'm pretty sure that's what it is so we are qualifying tonight the big feature and the main event is tomorrow so are you excited I'm excited everybody working with us today with the schedule getting uh, bounced back. Uh, we're doing our best to be able to start close to on time tonight. Uh, our format tonight will start at 6.15.
see what happens here. We're just got to get in uh, first or second, make the redraw, and then worry about tomorrow. in after I fire it. Yeah. Fire it up, burn all the shit off, yep. then put new plugs in and race. And then race. That's what yeah. I'm gonna do. Yeah. And it just don't feel like it's pulling. It won't if they don't clean out. Exactly. Then it ran good in practice though? Yeah. It, oh. It cleared up. It felt flat all day. Ah, okay. But it wasn't like, I don't know, you just, you question yourself, right? You're like, it's not that bad. Is it just me? You know what I mean? Yeah. Find the child. <laughs> Found him up there. Number one, Billy Pouch Jr. goes 11. towed off so there's probably ten to go we're in seven that is the right side rub rail the only i think that's chris I curtis <laughs> by the back side of billy saw a core tour of that bad okay. was when billy pouch jr hey, three more three more spots, yeah. three more spots. Oh, yeah. see if we can get a couple green flag laps here we're back underway At Billy Jr., the one of Billy Jr. rolls around Rocky Warner and made a bid to the outside of Danny Johnson. The doctor, he's not done. The doctor will make a move to the inside of Danny Buck. You can see it. They're getting wider over there in three and four. Buck's got a good run off the corner, and we got another one with problems. Another oh, yellow flag. Whoops. Nine to go. He's in six. Billy Jr. right there. He's in six. Finally starting on the outside. Oh, my God, my nerves. Two more. One, yeah. two, 
Billy the Jr. Billy right there. Numero Una. Hey, sometimes you gotta let a guy know how much you like him. Here comes Billy Pouch Jr. trying to make something happen on the outside of Danny Johnson. They're side by side off a of turn four. Yeah, Billy Jr. continues to be on the move. The doctor, though, able to slide up in front of him and hold him off for the fifth spot. Billy Jr. is not clear behind him. Here comes Kevin Herthler quietly creeping. Here comes the 117. Rocky Warner uh, will pull up alongside of him. They'll again bang doors. They made contact down the front straight away. Comes Billy Jr. with a runoff to the doctor. Squeezes him down the back stretch. Gloves are coming off here <laughs> in qualifier number two with all this happening. Here comes the doctor on the bottom. Yeah, but look at Billy Pouch Jr. He'll look to the inside of Johnson at three. Billy Pouch Jr. Can he go two for one here off of turn number four? He gets crossed up. Johnson, he's ready for that. He'll turn the car back down low. They're still side by side. We have three grooves above the cushion, on the cushion, below the cushion. Billy Jr. working right on it. The doctor underneath of him. The one is now clear of the 27J. And we've got a yellow. It's the 117. He has a long way to go to contend for that $500, but he only has to pass one car to try to make it in to tomorrow night's Speed Showcase. I think Earl just admitted his, admitted his favorite driver is Billy Pouch well, Jr. Well, he said he was a homer. Well, I, I, he does. You know, listen, Pouch, <laughs> the family runs sprint cars. Billy Pouch has a little history in that. Tisk, I'm not saying tisk. anything. That's I'm just okay. saying. Probably. Potentially. Four to go. From that We're contact a little spot. bit earlier with We're Rocky out. Warner, although... Yeah, the first time they contact down the Who's going to win? Who's going to make it in? Tomorrow night's feature event. We're back underway, Chris. Yeah, we've been paying all kinds of attention to that final qualifying spot. There's still $500 up for grabs, although RJ has been making it look easy. I'll tell you, it hasn't been easy, but Billy Pouch Jr., the kid's kid, doing dad proud. Billy Jr. up to third, buck back to fourth. Here comes Rocky Warner after Hackle for fifth. Qualifier number two. RJ's first race of the year, and he wants the dog here at qualifier number two. Jessica Fries in second, Billy Pounds Jr. third. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm walking to the driver. Right in the middle of the fucking street. Rocky turned left on me, I turned right to miss him. Hey, I fucked up. No, no, on the restart. Yeah, watch your straight up. No, come here, Bob. When you watch it, Rocky turns down on my nose, I try to miss him. I swear to you, man. Zacharias, I ran long enough. I'll tell you what happened. I, I tried to miss him, and I caught you. When, he, when you watch the video, Jimmy, he come down the straightaway, and he tucked in, and I and I turned right to miss him. Hey, I'll, miss, I'll tell you what I did. I'm like, I, I saw leave it alone. I was like, Good. Well, I thought I saw it fly off. 
So we're going running, guys. See if I can find it. Don't miss out. Get insider only updates and exclusive content inside Club DTU. Receive access to live updates, exclusive content, early access, special merchandise, discounts, community chat, recognition, and more. All inside one place. Club DTU. Head over to patreon.com slash dirt track and told to join the club. I found it! Man, do I have a good eye. I saw something white flying off Billy's car is like right the wheel cover. So he said last two laps is really hard drive. Let me show this guy that I got it. High five! Bye. First he wants tear offs. Now he don't want <laughs> don't want. Wow. Now he doesn't want tear offs after I just pre-folded them. It's fine. Yeah. Probably running around, but it's fine. Go out. I guess they like packed the track down, which definitely needed it. So, third heat's out now, then Mike's heat, and then we can come out for some air. So, until then. Qualifier number four, pole position out of King Ferry, New York, driving in the George Hudding Ode. But at Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram number 35, that is Mike Mahaney. For the Short Track Super Series, Modifieds is underway here at the Port Royal Speedway. Two by two down the back straightaway. Your leader is going to be the 35 in of Mike Mahaney. Here comes Shepard. He's in second. He'll look down low. Mahaney side by side off the turn momentarily. Mike Mahaney will lead lap number one. He How about Mike Mahaney? I mentioned it, every one of our qualifier winners has come from the outside of the front row. Mahaney trying to shake that streak and looking good doing it. The Elizabethtown, New York native Mahaney leads as we come to the halfway point. Eight down, seven to go. Checkered flag is going to come out though. Dirt Track Digest TV qualifier winner number four. Mike Mahaney snaps the streak. Mahaney gets the win in qualifier number four. I won the heat race. I don't know what the freak he was doing. Like two, three to go. Just changes his lane just ever so slightly and Shepard catches him. I'm like, dude, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Oh my god. other four were the quick timer in their hot lap group you were the only one that wasn't what changes did you make to get that little bit better and able to outdrive the 9s for the win uh you know we were just patient i think like through the de through the day it was a long day we had some practice and just kind of working on the car and and preparing from from what we knew from this place before you know i always love coming here so i have a lot of mem good memories from it and uh you know i just I, I love driving around the place the heat race was a lot of fun uh racetracks uh, like tricky and choppy but I, I still enjoy it a lot more than most other tracks so just uh love it here um i think that i think the early heats like were, were exciting and a little different and then the, and the track kind of cleared off a little bit and it was a little easier on a car later on so uh a lot of a lot of different stuff tonight i think there was a lot for the fans uh hope everybody comes out tomorrow all right good job keep it rolling thank you there you go. sorry brian thank you
I made a mistake. I fouled some plugs today. Nothing might have so but my own. Motor ran not as good as it should be because my stuff always runs. Put a set of plugs in it. Um, thing ran like a rape, like it should be. Uh, it came from 11th to 3rd, so we start 12th. Um, salvage what could have been a really, really bad night into something good. I was starting to worry after it, as slow as I was all day. So. Tell them about your shoulder guard. Um, you've seen the video, the shoulder guard actually broke, fell down, and... Jammed my arm for like two laps, so I actually reached up with my left arm and ripped it off, and then went from there, so... Yeah, wild night, wild things. Uh, you'll see it on the camera in action, what happened, and uh, we will catch you tomorrow. You better put Avery on. Avery wants to see herself, right? Yeah. Avery oh, likes okay. watching me. Avery wants to see me. Famous in Quebec in the Todd, paper, Todd and Shane in Quebec newspapers. I don't know where he's going, but he's going somewhere. Where there's a will, there's a way. I don't know where Darren went, but Darren, holy crap, dude. Look at the amount of a two, you got two coconut ice cream. Holy crap, this is, this is heaven right here. We got. Uh, I was just uh, gonna text Brandon and Dale for tell them thanks for excellent race suit shocks. Uh, dig race products. Uh, but okay. our team. Hang on, I got a little leg, so you let me walk in front of you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, our team has worked really hard this off season, and uh, very, very happy and proud to uh, get a win tonight, and uh, you know, have something for them to celebrate. Uh, been through a lot. Uh, is an understatement, I think, for everyone, and uh, just nice to have a little bit of joy. So. Um, very, very proud of everybody. Worked so hard all day. Started, started wicked early in practice, and um, we were patient and got got our stuff together and had the right things when we needed them. And uh, <laughs> I'm like speeding up, and you're catching. Me. I, I'm just trying to stay with you. No, you're not supposed to stay with me. Do you see oh. yourself getting cut up? Okay. Guys, help me out here. So, um, huh. all right. yeah, I gotta thank everybody. Uh, just for, for being, being able to be in position to, to do that. You know, it just takes a lot. Uh, we were fast enough, just fast enough in uh, time. And then the heat race, I think we got better and um, had, a, had a good restart, so our original start. Uh, I got a little confused there. I thought I could pick the top, but I, that's the other series. And all, we run so many different series and races. I. I have a hard time remembering all the different rules, I guess. But uh, love Port Royal. What a what a racetrack. I mean, even with the uh, with the rain and uh, they, they just kind of put clay down, so it was like a little choppy out there and everything. But still, uh, still love this place. It's so it's so much fun. And uh, I I think uh, between Billy coming from 11th to third. Uh, you know, you can't say that the racing wasn't good. So, um, you know, it sucks a few guys had some, you know, some major damage and some accidents and stuff, but uh, still love coming here. I, th I really think that the, you know, the fans should come here and support and because it's a lot of money on the line and it's going to be a really good show tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned. All right, man, now to find Jake and Bob. They made us tacos. Yes. <laughs> Man, it looks like we got candlelight dinner over here. Bob, you're doing a great job holding up that light. Yeah, my dad taught me well. <laughs> Not my eyes. <laughs> you want a chair, bub? Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Hi. You should have told me that. Cheapers. Oh, oh no. I know. <laughs> It's been fun guys, we're good, we're good. Everyone's in, definitely be sure to stop back here tomorrow for the $50,000 to win race. 
We got Mike in the redraw. Billy starts 12th, so good stuff. If you enjoyed this, like it, share it, comment below, let us know what you thought, and head over to Patreon. Definitely become a part of Club DTU, and we are going to catch you guys.